Oh my gosh, you weak little piece of person. You have to push yourself. You got to try some stuff. You got to do something dangerous. You got to do something that you don't think you can actually do. Okay? I went into a sauna and I stood there for 20 minutes. And I didn't just sit and sweat. I swayed from side to side and shook my arms around. And I thought I was going to die. Okay? I had sweat coming off me in buckets. I, the wood beneath my feet was soaked. I wasn't stepping on wood anymore. I was stepping in a puddle. I thought I was going to die at minute 15. I could not stay there anymore. I had to just force myself to breathe for those last five minutes. It was so hot and so uncomfortable. And there I was dying in this sauna. I wasn't really dying. I was showing myself that I could handle that. I was showing myself that even in that very uncomfortable place, I was fine. I was fine. I got out. I, I took lots of deep breaths. <laughs> and I realized, hey, I'm still here. Hey, is my left side going numb and I have tightness in my chest and it's hard to breathe? No, none of that. I was fine. And I did all of that. I did that sauna treatment after two days of not drinking any water. Okay, I did a two day dry fast and that's not 100% accurate. I only did 40 hours. Okay, so I went 40 hours without water and then I got in a sauna for 20 minutes and sweat my face off and I was fine. I wasn't anywhere near death. 40 hours into no water, not dying, still doing my work, still making progress on my business goals and my personal life, totally functional. I went two days without water and didn't die? I went two days without water and then I got in a sauna and I had more water coming off of me than I would normally have if I was drinking regularly. That's crazy. That's insanity. What my body is capable of. What I'm able to push myself through. And afterwards I went and drank some water, had some more electrolytes and got everything all balanced out. But... <laughs> I had no idea I was capable of that. First, the heat treatment. Second, the the dry fasting followed by heat treatment. I didn't know I could do that. I'm just an average Joe. I'm a regular dude. You could do that too. Your body's also capable of that. You know what else I did? I filled a bathtub full of ice cubes and I went and laid in it for an hour. An hour just laying there, shivering my face off barely able to function, put on some YouTube videos, just had a playlist going, and I timed the playlist as, as my timer so I wouldn't stay in past a certain time. I got stuff to do, okay? So I tried this for an hour, and I thought I was dying. I'm just laying there trying so hard to stay in the water, and anytime I'd get comfortable, I'd slosh the water around so it would get cold again. Why? Why would I do this? Because I'm ca I'm trying to see what I'm capable of. I'm trying to push my limits so I can understand what can I do in this life? What What is my body capable of? Turns out I can freeze naked in ice water for an hour and get out of the tub and have no damage. No frostbite on my fingers. No lasting brain damage, I don't think. I'm fine. I can stand high heat. I can stand dehydration. I can stand really cold temperature. I can go seven days without food. And that's not even that long. That's not even that long. Gandhi started skinny. He went 21 days. And please fact check that. I, I might have the number wrong. Okay. On his hunger strike. And at the end of the 21 days, he was alive. So he went from skinny man to skinny man, <laughs> not eating. So my seven days pales in comparison. And at the end of those seven days, at the end of my seven days, I was a little hangry. I was a little irritable, but not terribly so. I could have conversations with people. I was having conversations with business clients. I was handling my business very well. I was handling my relationships very well. Uh... Let's say, well, <laughs> I 
by the end of the seven days, I decided to eat because I need more exercise in my life. I could exercise while I'm not eating. I learned that about myself. But over time, I'm getting to a place of leanness with my body that I need food every few days if I'm going to be working out at the intensity that I work out at. Great. I learned that about myself. You know what else I learned? I can go seven days without eating. That's insane. I thought people died after like three days without food. I thought you could not go a day without water. False. False. I'm capable of so much more. And like I said, average Joe, you can do this too. I don't know why you'd want to. I mean, there's there's specific benefits for all these things I've mentioned. And there's plenty of reasons to push yourself to grow. But you don't have to do these things. My point is that we've been sold this lie of of being comfortable. We've been sold this lie that you're fragile and, and incapable of these different feats. And it's not true. And you're so much more capable than you give yourself credit for. You're so much more durable. You're so much stronger. You can do so much. <laughs> and you can accomplish so much. You can survive so much. It's amazing. It's amazing. And afterwards, you feel great when you go through these trials. Going through a sauna that's way too hot feels great. Getting out of that ice bath, you feel great. Doing really intense cardio after, after a while of not eating or drinking, you feel great. Regardless of your diet. Cardio is awesome. You should do cardio. You should do a lot of cardio, actually. <laughs> Fasting makes you feel good. It's a lifestyle that I'm going to be partaking in the rest of my days. And not as extreme as I've been doing it. But that's only because I, I, I see how it's a tool. I see how not eating can be used to achieve your different uh, fitness goals. To achieve your health goals. Great. Great. So I've added these different practices to my repertoire of skills that I can use to better myself. Who knew? Who knew? And I feel like a damn Superman. Because, oh, I didn't eat today. No big deal. Zero problem. Zero problem. <laughs> I didn't drink water today. A yeah, mild issue. I'd really like a glass of water. But I can handle it. That's insane. It's insane. Go out and seize your glory. Go out and do something amazing. Go out and believe in yourself that you're capable of kicking ass because you are. Have a good day. And if I may.